Hey guys, hope you're having a fantastic weekend and welcome back to the Swansea FIFA 17 career mode. The league table is tight, you can see it on the screen there. We're on 63 points, United 6 points behind us, but they do have a game in hand. I'm also just going to see, while we're talking about tables, if the draw for the Champions League quarterfinals has been made. Let's just scroll our way through here, because obviously we beat Monaco narrowly in the end. I think it was 3-2 it finished on aggregate, but an away goal, another goal for them, would have put them through. The draw has been a Bayern Munich. We have got Bayern Munich, one of the best club sides in the world. Legendary side. There's a couple of other tasty ties as well. Barca, Atletico, Spurs, Chelsea. It's going to be an all-English London derby in that one. And then Real Madrid, Dortmund. So some fantastic sides left in it. But Bayern Munich are really going to test us and push us to our limits. That's going to be tough. They beat Shakhtar 7-0 on aggregate in the round of 16. I know it's also been a while since we've done a squad report. It's been a few weeks, so we'll do one of them as well today. So we're going to be taking on West Ham at home, first of all. And then Aston Villa away from home, I presume that will be, yes. And then next episode, first leg against Bayern Munich. So this is the side for West Ham at home. 4-4-2 formation today, keeping with the two strikers. But Alexander Isak comes in. Kasper Doldberg drops to the bench because he's tired, as is Roberto and Sanchez. West Ham going with the 4-2-3-1. Everybody seems to play the 4-2-3-1. Lanzini will obviously be the man to watch out for. Dimitri Payet, of course, still at the club. Cresswell skips past the challenge of Alfie Mawson. We've got enough players back, I think. But there are West Ham players in that box. And they got their head to it. I think it was Cagliari. And the header looped up and Pickford was able to gather. We beat West Ham comfortably at the London Stadium, or the Olympic Stadium as it's sometimes known. They're down at the bottom of the table, but you wouldn't know it from their start here. They're on the front foot and Lanzini's miscued that effort and it's gone horribly wide. But they're dominating, they're dominating early on. Williams finds Alfie Mawson, switches it left. Isak on one more. Lozano is onside. We've got Dembele in the box, might stand this up to the back stick. Isak nearly got there. Nordfight heads it behind. Lozano, good interception. Isak's making a forward run. It's a good ball to pick him out. The youngster, can he beat the keeper to it? No, and he dived in with two feet. That was pretty dangerous. Pretty nasty play as well. Luckily, he didn't really make any contact with Adrian. But we're coming forward again. Lozano, Kessie, Isak. Run it out to the left. It's Grimaldo. Might stand this into the box. He has done. Isak, oh, deflected into the arms of Adrian. Kessie finds Isak. Oh, good turn. Good hit as well. Oh, good save from Adrian. Half-time whistle's gone then. Nil-nil. First 20 minutes was pretty much all West Ham, but we've regained a bit of control of this game and we've started to press. Need a goal, though. Williams bursting forward. He's gone past Cuyate. Finds Isak. Trying to create some room. Oh, he dances into the box. Oh, what feet. Good effort. Old Bonner with the block. Really, really quick feet. Corner. Whipped in. Should be keeper's ball. It's headed away from him. Carroll thumps it back in. It's laid out by Dembele. Grimaldo with a touch and hit. Oh, my God. That would have been unbelievable. Would have been a contender for goal of the season for sure. We're keeping the attack alive. It's Grimaldo again. Might have another go here, Grimaldo. It's deflected. Good save. Going to aim for Michael Keane here. He challenges for it. It's headed half away. Lozano will keep it in. Going to pass it into the box. Kessie chips it up and hits it. And he's found the back of the net. It has been coming. Kessie has been making more noise as well about saying he's unhappy with his lack of game time. We've put him in the squad today and he's delivered. He did this last time, but good goal, actually. Very good technique. Carroll wins possession back. Finds Dembele. Needs to get past Old Bonner. Easier said than done. Oh, he's found a way to do it, though. Oh, he's driven the shot over. He did the hard bit, created the space, but couldn't finish. Dimitri Payet. It's a good ball down line. Finds Lanzini. Got Keane for company. He's twisting and turning. He's got great footwork. And Tini stands the ball up. Mawson doesn't really deal with it. Kessie does. That was a bit dangerous there. Can we hit West Ham on the counter-attack? Tom Carroll. Waiting for Isak to make a proper forward run. Need a bit of space. Not just going to hit balls for the sake of it. But this counter-attack continues. And Dembele finds Williams. He's put a bit too much on the pass. But Williams cuts it back. Oh, what a challenge. Cresswell got there in the nick of time. That was a really good flowing move, though. Great football. Dimitri Payet plays it down the left-hand side where Cresswell is in a bit of space. Keane tries to block this. I can't remember which team it was that did this before. It might have been Middlesbrough. They were just firing balls into the box, but no one in there. West Ham have got Andy Carroll on the bench. Why don't they use him? Not that I'm trying to help them, mind. Trying to double our lead here. And Dembele could reverse this back into the path of Isak. He has done. Tame, 
tame effort. Here is Grimaldo. If he chips this up, Lozano could be away. If he gets there first, which he has done, as you'd expect him to do. He's got the pace to get away from his man. Cuts back onto his right foot. We've got players forward. It's picked out Iniaki William. Oh, brilliant. Good block, Dembele. We'll keep the attack alive. Isak touches it down to Lozano. Adrian with the save. But that was travelling. Williams might have scored there if it wasn't for Dembele. Okay, West Ham throwing everybody forward now. They've got defenders playing as strikers. We knew this would happen. It's got to that point in the game. Just two minutes remaining. Payet looking for former Swansea man. Are you? Was he? Was he going for goal there? I don't know. He's definitely going for goal there. And that's no danger whatsoever to Pickford's net. He's got players making a run. He's got space over there. It's Semedo. Dinks it up. Williams got to be volleyed. Had to be volleyed. It's set up so nice. Noble being composed at the back. But we're into stoppage time. We're actually the game's over. Referee has brought an end to this game. It's another win. Another narrow win. Could have been more to be fair. But West Ham did have some chances of their own. But you can see why they are down at the wrong end of the table. Now, this is great news. This is absolutely fantastic news. Our talisman, our captain, Gilfie Sigurdsson, is back in training. Of course, we've got Aston Villa and then Bayern Munich. I'm not sure how quickly he'll be back to full fitness. But if he's back in the squad for that Bayern game, that is a huge boost. So Aston Villa will, surprise, surprise, be lining up in a 4-2-3-1 formation. Jordan Ayew will be the man to watch. He's playing out on the right-hand side, though. Not, my not his best position in my opinion. We have picked our side with the Bayern Munich game in mind. It's quite heavily rotated as you can see. A lot of the fringe players getting a run out. But the bench is strong. So we can call upon them if we need to. Just bunched up in the middle there. Isak. Finds Pulisic. In towards Isak. Oh lovely back heel. Great football. Kessie. Oh he nearly done it again. Dolberg with a looping header. It's not going to be enough. But Kessie is on fire right now. Isak. Kessie making another run. It's Kessie with another touch. It's Kessie with another goal. Unbelievable start to this one. How is he getting into all these forward positions? I thought he was more of a defensive-minded midfielder. But in a 4-4-2 formation, he takes the initiative and goes forward whenever he can. And that is a beautiful finish. Villa coming forward yet again. The ball is in the area now. Oh, what a pass that is. And it's Jedinak who's equalised for the home side here. That was a defence splitting pass. Undefendable. There's nothing I could do. The guy was off balance when he passed it, which really put me off. Leroy Fair was caught napping a little bit, just the wrong side of his man, and Pickford couldn't get down quick enough. Here is Pulisic. Tries a little step over. He's got Semedo to his right. Here he is. No support for Semedo. Might not need it. He's got good strength. He's going to stand the ball up. To the back post. He's hit the crossbar. The cross has hit the bar. Otherwise, Isak was going to get his head on that, and we might have been back in front. Leroy Fair looks for Woodburn, the pacey youngster on loan from Liverpool. What can he do? He's got men in the box. Can he pick one of them out? It's a really teasing cross. Where were the strikers? Get yourself on the end of that. Gamble. Throw yourself at it. Anticipate. Do all of those things and you'll get more goals. Good football this from Villa. Here is Ross McCormack. Oh, he's just skinned Lemos, who dived in, tried to nick the ball. We've got a lot of players back, so surely we'll be okay. Oh, is that a penalty? No, it's outside the box. Oh, my word. Kingsley taking a risk. Danger not over yet, though, because this free kick is going to be dinked into the box, straight into the arms of Pickford, thankfully. Woodburn wins possession back. Here's Isak. He's got Dolberg making a run. Oh, Richards was not even looking at that ball. It just kind of hit him on the back of the head. Very fortunate for Villa. Woodburn finds Isak. Oh, good turn. Good footwork. For a big guy, he's got very quick feet, as he's demonstrating here. Might be able to get a shot away, Isak. It's deflected back to Dolberg. Who smashed it tops, but ultimately the flag's gone up. Leroy Fair with a big header. Here is Dolberg. Oh, lovely bit of skill. Might, might hit this. Oh, Casper. Casper Dolberg. It's another shot from distance that's found the back of the net. That was a beauty. The little drag roll of the heel to get the ball in space and get himself in a position to hit it. Look at that. Brilliant footwork. And it's gone like an absolute rocket into that bottom corner. Kessie finds Dolberg. Where's our right-sided midfielder? Needing to be making runs. Here's Isak. Still got the strength to hold off his man. Kessie. Here's Pulisic. Back to Kessie. Good football. Anyone else? Anyone else want to get involved? There's two men on Kessie. I don't know where to go. Dolberg's peeled away into a little bit of space. Oh, lovely turn from Kasper. Could put us two up here. Two up. We're 3-1 the score. That's what I meant when I said two up. But Kasper Dolberg on the stroke of half time has given us a two-goal cushion. That is a more brilliant piece of individual play from him look at the way he just drew the defender in and spun round and he was gone and had the composure to slot it past the keeper surely now there's no way back for Villa who are also down at the wrong end of the table 
Half time whistle. Brilliant, brilliant time to score that third goal. We're in control. Another poem for you, by the way. Go on, Samedo. Go on, Samedo. Go on, Samedo. I'll oh, roll it through. Leroy Fair. Oh, hit it first time. The ball has been parried up in the air. And the keeper will grab it at the second attempt. Go on, Leroy. Go on, Leroy. Oh, great footwork. See you later, Sanchez. He's gone for the finesse, Leroy Fair. That was heading in. It wasn't the most powerful effort, but the accuracy caused the keeper problems. Leroy Fair, Dolberg. Oh, lovely ball. Isak looks up, sees Woodburn, touch and strike. Left footed. That was heading into the top corner. I don't know why I'm shooting from there, but why not? Corner whipped in. Oh, wow. What an effort. Great acrobatic and uh, usually the initiative there from <laughs> Isak, but it's gone high and probably wide in the end. Oh, it's, it's a long way away. He's Kodja. He's got guys with him. He's played the ball. Kingsley's been booked, so has to be careful. Why is Housen hitting that first time from there? Easy, easy save for Pickford. So Villa throwing numbers forward now, as they have to do, in an attempt to find a way back into this one. The ball drops down loose. Samedo. What are you doing? So it's a corner to Aston Villa and every single player, bar the goalkeeper, is in the box. Which means if we can get this clear, the counter-attack is on. But the shot from Westwood flashes wide. Villa coming forward. They're really starting to apply some pressure, but I think they've left it a little bit too late. It's a really good run. Richards is there. Man goes down in the box. Carlos Sanchez hit that and it's blocked. Going to be another corner though and the keeper is even up for this one. They've played it short as well, which is a strange decision, but it might work out for them. It's Westwood. Oh, a bit of deja vu. That shot was awful. Here is Amavi. Jordan Ayew's found space. Is he going to stand the ball up? No, he's going to pull it back to Richards. Alfie Mawson. Superb defended. Keeper's up again here. And the ball is whipped in. It's a good ball. And James Chester has headed Villa back into this one. We're into stoppage time. But that was poorly defended. Surely, surely, that's nothing more than a consolation goal. But where's the marking? Awful. Are Villa going to have time to launch one more attack here? No. And they're running the wrong way anyway. It doesn't matter, though, because the referee... Has brought this game to an end. It's another very narrow victory, but a very entertaining game. 3-2 it's finished here at Villa Park. So as I said at the beginning, it's been a uh, few weeks since we had a look at the squad. I'm going to run through it very, very quickly just so you can see the stats. Feel free to pause it if you want to have a look at a player in more detail. But Jordan Pickford, 85 rated now. His uh, stats are absolutely superb. And Arna's overall has gone up by four. This guy never plays. Sergio Roberto has been absolutely brilliant. What a signing. Very, very happy with him. Nelson Tomato spent a lot of time out injured, but he's been ever-present when he's available. Sam Byron stepped up to the plate when we really needed him to. Kyle Norton, we are trying to, to kind of get rid of him. Michael Keane, ever-present at the back. Lemos, capable of scoring some absolutely banging goals. Alfie Mawson will be happy with the 19 appearances he's managed to get in the team this season. Bartley, Van der Horn and Fernandez just do not play. Bless him. Fernandez desperate to leave as well. Grimaldo, brilliant, absolutely brilliant left back. Really, really happy with him. It hit that scorching strike, which hit the crossbar in the previous game. Kingsley's done a good job. Pulisic struggling because of the form of Vignaki Williams. But he has made 25 appearances, although most of them will be from the bench. Kessie's complaining, says he wants to play more. His stats are good. His overall goes up. When he plays, he delivers. But obviously, we've got an abundance of quality midfielders. This guy... Right at the top of that list, Renato Sanchez. Absolutely brilliant player. Harrison Carter, this will be his last season with the club. Jay Fulton doesn't play. Grimes, I just can't get all these youngsters in. I mean, Tom Carroll gets a bit of game time here and there. A couple of others out on loan. Jefferson Montero, class player. A lot of players would love to have him playing on their left side of midfield. But his contract's about to expire and I'm probably not going to offer him a new deal. Leroy Fair, obviously still part of the Swansea squad in real life. But he's not happy. He doesn't play. What can you do? You can't just chuck players in when they're not happy. Gil Gilf is going to be fully fit in 11 days, which does unfortunately mean he will miss that first leg of the buying game. I might put him on the bench, though. And Yaki Williams, look at his value. £32.5 million. Pounds. He's really started to deliver in terms of stats. Moussa Dembele, his form recently. He's been scoring goals for fun. 13 he has in total. 8 in 19 Premier League appearances. That is not a bad return at all. 4 in 5. In the Champions League. He really does love that competition. Kasper. He's started to score goals as well. You saw him get the two against Villa. Not a great ratio. Um, 11 goals in 29. So not quite as good as Dembele's. But he also loves the Champions League. So hopefully they'll be on fire. As we head into that quarter final tie with Bayern Munich. Isak's impressive. Every single time he plays. His overall has gone up to 71. He's only 18 years of age as well. And Fernando. 
He's already agreed terms with Southampton. Been a fantastic servant for the club, but his stats are in massive decline. He's got just the one goal, and that came in the FA Cup. Botti Biabi doesn't play, neither does Ollie McBurney, unfortunately. Lozano, probably my favourite player, probably our most technically gifted player. He causes havoc. You can see he's got 11 goals, 7 assists playing on that left-hand side. His agility is 99 and his sprint speed is 99. That is absolutely frightening. Ben Woodburn on loan from Liverpool. He's been good, actually. He's terrorised that defence. I just brought him in to take a look at him. I might look to bring him in permanently because, obviously, of his youthfulness and we can develop him very well going forward. Poor Daniel James just doesn't get a look in. So let's take a look at the Premier League table before we finish. And the gap is now seven points with seven games to go. We must be odds-on favourites for this title. Now, the reason for that is Manchester United's game in hand was Liverpool, which is a game I think that they lost. Spurs are in third. They were obviously last season's champions. They're level on points with fourth place. Chelsea now, who are creeping their way up into things. Everton and Liverpool fifth and sixth. City have gone on a great run of form and pushed themselves as high as seventh. Arsenal are still stuttering in mid-table. And West Brom, Aston Villa and QPR are now the teams in the bottom three. It looks bleak for QPR. They're six points of drift of safety. Villa are five points of drift of safety. And West Brom are within touching distance of Middlesbrough, just three points behind. Only seven games to go now, so the table really taking shape. I'll be devastated, I'll be honest, if we throw it away from here. But I think we have still got some tough games to go. Our focus, of course is also on the Champions League, so that might affect things with injuries and fitness and everything like that. But drop a like if you're enjoying the series. Be sure to subscribe and come back for what is definitely going to be an epic encounter against Bayern Munich, and we'll see you next time.